based psychologists say that problem solving and creating inventions involve preparation, illumination, incubation, and verification. When going through life, we must make mistakes to stimulate our creativity. Musicians and poets write about making mistakes to show and value its importance. One of the most famous places where mistakes are made is in the kitchen. How many of you enjoy my favorite snacks? Chocolate chip cookies, potato chips, ice cream cones, most delicious foods in the world, right? Well, can you believe they were all an accident? According to Huffington Post, in 1930, Ruth Wakefield accidentally invented the first ever chocolate chips and chocolate chip cookies. She was baking cookies until she ran out of baking chocolate, so she broke pieces of a chocolate Nestle bar, added them to her dough, creating the first ever chocolate chip cookies. She launched a huge business from them, and because of her invention, we had the concept of the cookie monster. Dr. Maddox mentioned that he loved eating chocolate chip cookies with milk. They are, <laughs> they are a great snack, and many of us love them today. We also have the concept of the cookie jar in our kitchen as well. Today, many of us love eating these comfort foods and view them as rewards. Mark your calendars for National Chocolate Chip Day, May 15th. Even Santa Claus eats chocolate chip cookies with milk. This shows how chocolate chip cookies have greatly transitioned over time. Because of the many crumbs you eat from, you get from eating potato chips, conveniently, George Crumb accidentally invented the first ever potato chips in 1853. He was a chef at a New York diner and a customer kept asking for thinner french fries, so angry George Crumb cut a potato unbelievably thin, creating the first ever potato chips. Many started asking for potato chips, and that's how it got its name. Today, there are a variety of different kinds of potato chips. Many celebrate National Potato Chip Day, March 14th. Mark your calendars. They are a great social snack. Let's admit it. There's not one party that does not have a bag or a bowl of potato chips lying around. In 1905, an 11-year-old invented the popsicle. Frank Epperson was making a soda pop and left his soda pop in the making outside overnight, came back to it, it was frozen. It tasted great, it was the popsicle. Today, many of us love popsicles. They are a great summer's treat. You can make your own popsicle at home. They are far more over than they were five cents and many like to upload their own recipes on YouTube or Google. You can make your own recipes from learning from these recipes that they made. It shows how greatly they have revolutionized over time. In 1928, according to Reader's Digest, Walter E. Dimer accidentally invented the most chewable chewing gum. He was a worker at a Philadelphia chewing gum factory, and in his spare time, he would create his own chewing gum. At the age of 23, he created Double Bubble, and it became a major hit after he sold five pounds of it in a grocery store. Today, you may find chewing gum underneath your shoe after unfortunately walking under, it, or walking over it. <laughs> you may find construction buildings, or possibly every single building, has chewing gum stuck on it. On it. Look underneath your desk right now. Look. Look, just look. There's chewing gum underneath. Can you believe it? In 1904, in St. Louis's World's Fair, Cyrene Ernest Hamley actually invented the first ever waffle cone. His friend Arnold Fornichu was selling ice cream until he ran out of cups. So, Cyrene Ernest Hamley came to the rescue with his first ever waffle cone. He had a waffle pastry and simply rolled it up, creating the first ever waffle cone. They became a major hit, and many of us love eating them today. Many like to make their own waffle cones as well. Many like to eat ice cream in ice cream cones, including the president. Can you believe that? Okay. 
<laughs> there are several different types and kinds of ice cream cones, and many like to make their own at home. Many companies like to promote themselves through ice cream cones. In 1930, Edward Wilson accidentally created the first ever cheese puff. He was a worker at the Flat Coal Company of Beloit, Wisconsin, and there was this animal food processing machine. Workers would put melted cheese to unclog the pipes in this machine, and Edward Wilson one day saw cheese ribbons coming out. He took them home, spiced them up, creating the first ever cheese puffs. Today, cheese puffs, well known as Cheetos, are greatly enjoyed and they are a greatly, great social snack. Many celebrities like to munch on them in shows. There are even Halloween costumes. Katy Perry wore a Cheeto costume a long time ago. In the 1700s, John Montagu unintentionally created the first ever sandwich. He was a gambler at a serious gambling game and refused to get up. So we ordered two pieces of bread, meat, and with no utensils, he created the first ever sandwich. Today, many of us love eating sandwiches for lunch or dinner. You can eat them for breakfast too. The president likes to eat them too. Can you believe that? There are several different kinds of sandwiches today. And there are several brands and, and types. They have revolutionized over time. Some believe that it is revolutionized as a hamburger, and some believe that that's a total different story. Many of us have eaten these foods, but we've never taken the time to learn the interesting stories behind them. Their inventors were common people like us. They have revolutionized over time. Thank you.